everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How you all getting on today? And welcome back to the latest update video on the Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge. And if you guys want to stay updated on the challenge, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Right, so this week's video is going to be more intercessors. Now, doing the intercessors at the very start was, I think, the best way to start this challenge off because a lot of the bulk is going to be uh, intercessors and reavers. And I think that's kind of the majority of them. A lot, there's a lot of like HQ choices, a lot of singular models, but I'm happy I did that now because this is like update number 11, something like that, and I'm starting to get a little bit burnt out painting all this blue. So I kind of took a week off and I did an update video just to get the juices flowing again. And I got five more intercessors painted up, and I'm really happy with them. So it's kind of nice to take that little break off. I know you guys wouldn't have really noticed the break because I've had videos planned ahead. But if you want to see what I'm going to be doing for next week's video, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll share it with you guys. So let's switch to the table view and have a look and see what I did. Alright, here we are. So the, the main thing I figured out when I was painting these is that I'm after getting a lot quicker at painting just intercessors. I like to take it a little bit slower doing HQ models and stuff like that or any special type of models. But generally... I went through these pretty quick, not quick as in like they were done within an hour or two, but it's like I got the base coats and the shading done and most of the base coats, uh, well the base coat blue, the shading and then a lot of the base colours of everything else done pretty quick. Then I left them for a while, but when I when I came back to paint the rest of them, I just, I, auto, I was on like autopilot, I automatically knew what to kind of do, I've done it so much now over the last month or two that uh, it's drilled into my head automatically that just go and do this and without even thinking about it. So th there is two sergeant models in this one but thank god that they're a little bit different. They're both pointing in the way but their helmets are in different position. This guy, I give him a red helmet because he's the sergeant as you do and this one just to separate a little bit if you can see it. I give him a red stripe on the top of his head which just to give him a little bit of a difference. I don't know if that's a proper thing to do with him but you know, just to separate them a little bit. So there's not really a whole lot to say with them because I've, I've been on repeat just saying what I've said in the last uh, two Intercessor videos. But again, I've had a lot of fun painting these and the thing is that I did a lot better was his little communicator thing here, or his little radar. Now what I used on that was, if I can find the green, it was a brand new green that came with uh, Warhammer Conquest. Yeah, Ogren Camo was the green I used, which is this one. It was a nice, really nice color green, and I went over just the edges with Null and Oil, just to darken the edges of it, so the middle screen sticks out a lot better, or sticks out brighter than the rest of it. But I kind of do like painting the sergeant models a little bit more, simply because you get to do like a little, little tiny bit of skin and a little tiny bit of hair. And um, this guy, this guy has a scenic base because he was with a 40k starter magazine that came out a few years ago when the Premier Springs first came out and he was a free model with that so that's why he has a little different base which I completely forgot I had him until I went through uh, the boxes to pick out a couple of intercessors but these guys were a lot of fun to paint this is going to be a pretty quick video because I can't really share anything a whole lot different so maybe for the next unit that I'm going to be painting which will by the way is going to be three reavers I might do them a little bit differently. I might give him a little bit of battle damage just to give him... He's a little bit wobbly. So I might do a little bit of battle damage on them. Maybe make their swords a little bit more rustier. Make them look at the battlefield for a lot longer than they should have been. And make them more dirtier looking and stuff like that. So that might be a thing just to kind of have a little bit of a difference from the other three that I painted up. But anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section. Make sure to hit the like button, ring that bell so you can stay informed with everything that I'm doing to stay up to date with it. And subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.